going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Thera Monster Glideman. Now this was the second knife to come in in the uh, Thera Monster package from cool. Lefty EDC from the Lefty Pass Around. Uh, you guys probably saw my full review on the Urban Grip. If you didn't, go check that out. But now I'm doing my full review on the Glideman. Um, and then I still have my full review to do on my personal knife the Aurora Rays, also from Fair Monster. Um, the Glideman is probably the one that surprised me the most because when I got the package in, um, you guys know if you saw my, my previous uh, full review of the Urban Grip, that was a knife that I was really excited to check out and I almost got from uh, Fair Monster when they you know were nice enough to send this one to me. I got to pick which one I wanted and I almost picked the Urban Grip, but I went with the Aurora Rays just because I don't have too many flipper knives in my collection and I really love this jimping. Uh, and the Glideman was kind of just, you know, it was there, it was cool looking, but I never really paid too much attention to it. Um, but man, did it surprise me once I got this in. Um, it easily, you know, became my second favorite, uh, you know, roaring past the Urban Grip. And it's just a good little knife. It's, it's a quirky little knife. It's a good knife. And I've really enjoyed it. Um, this is the smallest knife in the Fair Monster, um, you know, lineup out of the three models. So that is really cool. So we're gonna jump right into materials real quick. Uh, let me get it pulled up here so I can show some stats uh, and talk about some different variations. Um, so you guys can see this is rocking some plain titanium scales. You of course have the Fair Monster logo right there on the pivot. You have a little flipper tab poking out the top. You have a backspacer with a lanyard hole built in. You get a very interesting looking sheep's foot style blade that has a little bit of a harpoon to it. Um, comes down to a really thin edge. Of course, it's M390 right there. Ignore the fingerprints. Um, relatively about medium size, you know, blade stock thickness. Uh, you have another frame lock. Of course, the milled clip um, that I was not a big fan of on the Urban Grip. Um, there is some internal milling on this. On There looks like there's two pockets on the show scale side and then two small pockets on the frame lock side. Um, I believe there are skips in here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think Kevin put skips in here. Um, so as far as the materials are going, you know, M390, full titanium, flipper tab, hole for deployment, cool blade, you know, hard to beat that. So we're gonna go five out of five on the uh, materials. There are four different variations of this as well. There's four variations of each of the models, which is cool. So you have this version, which is just the plain tie. You have a, another um, satin blade or stone wash, I can't tell, um, with like a deep, dark or not, not necessarily deep or dark but kind of a light blue i guess um stone anno uh blue which is cool then you have a black bladed one with a looks like a burnt bronze one with bronze accents and then you have a tiger added one with uh, a satin blade as well um, so some quick stats for you guys so the overall length this thing will scroll down. Overall length from tip to butt is 7.19 inches. You have a closed length of 4.13. Um, blade length just over three inches at 3.05. And it comes in weighing at 3.77 ounces. And this thing feels so much lighter than this. This was 3.82 and then this is 3.77. So, you know, this feels a lot lighter than this. And I don't know if that's just, you know, cause it's a smaller knife or what it is, but um, has a nice, like, you know, it's light, but it has that substantial weight to it, which I really like. Uh, and of course, everything is titanium, which you guys already know. Um, so we're going to move on to aesthetic. Uh, I think this knife looks great. I, I'm a fan of the quirky blade shape. Again, it's kind of a, a sheep's foot with a harpoon, a, a harpoon, a harp foot, a sheep's, a sheep spoon, I guess is what you could call it. Um, you know, the handle shape is relatively simple. You just kind of have a, a little bit of a curve going on back here, tapers off into a nice finger groove. Um, you know, it wasn't the best looking knife in my opinion coming in, but it's really grown on me. And I am a big fan of, you know, the overall shape and everything like that now, you know, now handling it, now getting to know it, things like that. Uh, so we'll go five out of five as well. I think I think all the knives are good looking from Fair Monster. I don't have, you know, a single complaint about how, how they look. Um, so yeah, we're gonna move on to action next. You get two ways of deploying the knife. You get the flipper tab up top, then you get a nice generous hole for deployment down here. Um, the detent is snappy for both sides, both both ways of deploying the knife, which is nice. 
Um, you guys know knife companies, they've gotten a lot better, I feel like, in the last year or two. But sometimes when you have multiple ways of deploying the knife, the D10 ball can be kind of iffy. It can be kind of, you know, more directed towards, the, say, the flipper tab than the hole or the flipper or the, the hole versus the flipper tab. Uh, but here it is relatively snappy. The flipper tab, you get jimping all the way up and around, which is really nice. Not very, you know, protruding or aggressive, but it just drops right out of there. Uh, I have fidgeted with this a ton, probably honestly a little bit more than my own knife, um, just because I, you know, I knew I was going to have to send this away in a couple weeks. So I've done a ton of playing with it, done a ton of fidgeting with it. Uh, the flipper tab, you can do, I do push button, or I just, I love the push button because you just land right on it and you just build pressure and it pops out. You can also do the light switch, but honestly, the light switch feels a little bit weird to me. So I definitely prefer doing the push button. Um, as far as thumb flicks go, works good. You guys can see it just banging right out of there. Middle finger flick works really good. Whoops. As long as you don't have any pressure on the lock bar, but it flies right out of there. Nice snap too. Thumb flick lefty. Reverse flick righty or lefty as well. And then of course you can slow roll it out. Um, but I think the D10 is dialed. I think all the deployment methods are really good. Uh, so we're going to stay on the five train and give it a five out of five. Uh, next up is acoustics. You can hear some of those. They're, they're very dull and they're very muffled, but they give this knife gives you, you know, inklings of those. Whoops, those high pitched rings and tings. And I mean, this is a really good sounding knife. It is not perfect, but it's definitely better than, you know, average. You guys can hear there's, there's a little bit of a metallicness, a little bit of a, a high pitchness going on. Um, and, but you still get that nice thwack and just just a good noise overall so we're not gonna you know mingle on this too much uh we're gonna go 4.5 again not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but pretty darn good you know very 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 above average uh, so we'll go 4.5 next up is ergos now this knife is a little ergonomic monster um, i can get all four fingers in the knife very very easily again don't like the pocket clip, but it does act very, very good in hand because it's just so, you know, so flush to the knife, so thin. Um, you know, it just it kind of just buries in the palm of your hand, but it's very, very comfortable. I can get all four fingers on here. Um, I don't know if I said that already or not, but very, very comfortably. My hand or my thumb lands kind of right in the poon area of the blade, which is nice. Um, then you can use this choil up here. So you just move up, pointer or middle finger goes right into the groove. The back two fingers, sorry. I heard my dog moving around back here, but she's slumped on the, the bed behind me sleeping. Um, and then you get a very, very comfortable grip right here. I mean, you're, this blade is locked in your hands. You get the choil and then your hand lands, your thumb lands right up here on the top of the blade, the top of the, you know, poon area. And this is great for doing push cuts. I mean, you can get so much control, so much leverage on, you know, anything you're cutting through with this grip fantastic um, anything reverse you know saber hammer all that this is just comfortable um it's a little bit kind of quirky and i wouldn't say awkward looking but definitely a little bit quirky looking um but i mean it this thing just melts into your hand um very very comfortable and you know it just fits like a glove so we're gonna go five out of five on the ergos uh next up is carry <sighs> Back to this again. We got one more to do after this. Um, and of course, that is my Aurora Rays with the same pocket clip. Um, but again, we just have the milled clip that I don't think functions as well. Um, you know, you, you have about that much sticking about your pocket, which again, is not the biggest deal. I've gotten much better with being okay with it. Um, at first, I used to hate having any knife showing, uh, but I've slowly gotten better with it over the you know course of me collecting and doing YouTube just because I've had so many in my pockets, you know, that have milled clips and that stick up out of your pocket. But for some reason, this just doesn't jive with me. I don't, I would have really liked to seen them do, I mean, it's nice because it's sunk down into the scale, but I really would have liked them seen, to see them do a single screw, um, which would have given you a little bit more, I mean, saved you a little bit more pocket space, um, saved you a little bit more, you know, deep into the carry of your pocket. Um, I mean, again, it's just, 
this one's really bad. I mean, you guys can see the, the urban grip. You guys can pop up a little bit, but this one is so stiff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not, not ideal. Uh, and honestly, the end of the clip kind of hurts when you go to pop it. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go 3.5. I think 3.5 is going to be pretty standard on how I view the carryability of all these. Um, one saving grace with this kind of is it's a smaller knife, uh, but it does have a flipper tab. So when it's down in pocket, you do have to be aware of going underneath it and, you know, pulling things out. Uh, you know, this might come out with it, but it's not too bad. The jimping isn't overly aggressive, which is nice, um, but it is nice and slim and small and it sits down in the pocket. And I really would have loved to have seen this with a looper or style deep carry clip because, you know, it's just a small knife and I think it would have carried very, very well, but we'll go 3.5 on the carry. Uh, and lastly, that brings me to my final category of price point slash value slash what I recommend this knife. So the price point on the Fair Monster Glideman is $228. Uh, the There's three of them that are $228 and then you have the Anode, the Tiger Anode one at 238 uh, so 228, I think that's a great price for you know a titanium frame lock knife with multiple ways of deployment. Um, M390, you know, very very comfortable, great ergos, subpar carry, but that's really the only thing that I can knock with this knife. Um, good acoustics, and of course if you use someone's code, uh, you know, to save 10% off, you can get that down closer to probably $200. Um, so I do think that's you know, I think this was a okay value. I think this is a, a good slash great value. Um, yeah, so I mean, and if, as far as recommending it, I think that this is, you know, they're all fantastic. I really do like every single model and it's just going to be me saying the same thing as I said in the Urban Grip full review. Just pick which one you like aesthetically and, and go with that one because odds are you're going to like it. I mean, this one, this aesthetic probably isn't for everybody, but if you like how this knife looks, then come grab it because I think you're going to like how it functions. Now, take it with a grain of salt because I do think this has skiffs in it, but I mean, you know, the action is great. The action on mine is stock and it's really good. Um, so, I mean, I think it's a good value, good slash great value, and I can recommend it to anybody. I mean, if you're a fan of this blade shape and this handle, then I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, and yeah, 228 on the price, I think is fantastic. Get you down to 200 ish with a code. Um, and you know, we're going to go back to five because I think it's a good value. I think it's a better value than the urban grip. Um, and we're going to, I guess, just leave it at that. So let me count this up for you guys really quickly. Alrighty guys, so I am a fan, bigger fan of the Glideman than the Urban Grip because I have the Glideman coming in at a whole point higher with 33, which lands it right in that fantastic category. Um, and I do think this is a fantastic knife. Um, if I ever were to get another Fair Monster, um, you know, I would definitely pick up a Glideman. Probably this version or the like anodized stonewashed blue. I think that one looks really good too. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I mean, a fan of this knife. I think it's really good. Um, and that's not to say that the urban grip is bad. I really, I have compared these two a lot, but I, I mean, that's not the shit on the urban grip because the urban grip is a good knife. I just think the Glideman is a great knife. And I mean, so, so say it this way. I think the Glideman is a fantastic knife and I think the urban grip is a great knife. So, I mean, yeah, but, uh, let me know down below did any of you guys pick up the Glyman from fair monster have you heard of it before have you not heard of it before are you planning on getting one tell me these things guys i always love to hear what you guys are thinking and you know have have going on um with these knives but um yeah so i'm gonna wrap this up now but this was my full review on the fair monster knives Glyman. as always huge shout out to kevin over at lefty ac for letting us always check out dope stuff much love to you kev and much love to you guys um but yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night. Whenever you're watching this, talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.